Well, I put all mine back together today, so it's ready to go for an MOT, but um, it needs to be roll and roaded for that uh, rise and rate fuel pressure regulator I mentioned earlier. I just want to show you a couple of areas as well, which um, are actually uh, a little bit more difficult to do than just by looking at this, because... Uh, Um, in particular, the TDO4 turbo, it doesn't come mounted in that direction. You'll notice on mine there's uh, the inlet uh, section is facing forward and you've got the braided uh, oil feed on top. Now you'll have to actually get that turbo off and do something called rotating it. There's um, In the middle you've got a catch which you'll need to take off. Um, get that off and once, well, the best way to do it I got was put it in a vise and you've got to actually tap off this housing away from this section um, and you basically want to split it now you need to do that on both sides uh, one for the exhaust side and also for the intake now the intake side which has got the uh, impeller in it which is this side is held together there's a big circlip um, I don't know if you can see it but it's it's actually in there and you'll need a tool to actually grip onto that pull it apart and then you can rotate it to get obviously get the intake facing forward and you'll want the oil line coming from the top down and then the oil will drain out the bottom back into the sump so once you've done that it's a little bit difficult you've got to it depends how caked on your turbo has been so you know you need a hammer and a bit of patience but it does come apart eventually um, also the HKS um, actuator, the bracket is off the CT9 and I had to re-drill this to actually make it fit the TDO4 bracket. So I just re-drilled it, uh, put a hole in the middle, you see obviously where the two holes for the CT9 were. Um, take that off. And then um, the hole is just in the middle then and that just screws on. And also, I haven't attached it yet, but on mine you can see I've actually had to re-drill the bottom. I drilled through it so you can mount it onto the the catch. I see a little uh, circlip to keep that on. And that will be my uh, adjustable actuator then, so I can set that at w one bar. Okay, and I, uh, I think that's it.